Good morning everybody, welcome back to another used car build. Today we're focusing our attention on the R32 Nissan Skyline GTR. Now I'm not a huge Skyline fan. Um, I respect what they can do. Uh, I like the looks of them, they look pretty cool. You know, kind of like a you know, sedan with massive amounts of potential. Uh, but after tuning and driving this R32, I kind of get where all the hype comes from. Um, with the proper amount of tuning and adjusting, uh, you can make this car pretty much hard to lose with. Um, it's so quick, handles absolutely beautiful, and it's got just so much gobs of horsepower potential. Um, for you folks that like to over-tune a car, this definitely has plenty of room for that. And I could have went with the Nismo version, but I felt that that was already kind of tuned, you know, by the factory where, you know, they, they kind of wanted it to go. Uh, so instead, I kind of went with the, uh, I, I guess you can't call it the base model because it's still a GTR, but the, uh, just the, uh, you know, casual to find in the used car list, the R32 uh GTR V Spec 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, interior here and the body styling. It's, you know, straight out of the 90s for real. There's nothing uh, special about it, um, about the interior. It's your, like most any other car in the 90s, I mean, really. I mean, you look at the interior of this car, there's not very much that sets it apart from other 90s cars, you know what I mean? But then we got the body style, like, when I first started playing Gran Turismo, I didn't know what to make of these cars, these skylines. So I was like, wow, what, what's the deal with this car? Is it a, just a family sedan or is it just a coupe? Like, what, you know, what are they going for? What's the style they're going for? And the thing that always got me was that rear window, that rear side window right there. I always thought that that kind of looked very similar to, like, a lot of American cars of that of that time you know the uh you know like monte carlos and whatnot had that little side window there but uh that's where the comparison really ends all in all though it is a brilliant car um and when you tune it up and get it adjusted it's i, I found it very difficult to make the thing wipe out like obviously you can mess up your braking and your turning but just straight driving yeah, it's a very difficult car to, to screw up. Like, it's it, it's pretty badass. So, let's go ahead, and we're going to pop out, and we'll take a brief look at um, what we did to achieve this otherworldly balance on this car. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge R32 fan. I mean, or, you know, GTR fan. I, I respect what they are, and I know they're potential is quite big but you know it's to me it's just nothing super special about it yeah it's cool yeah it's kind of hard to get them in the u.s but you know to me it's just another you know turbocharged all-wheel drive car but uh we got set it at 599 performance points only 366 horsepower because as you know i don't overtune things uh, we got the uh, weight balance at 5149, front rear weight balance 5149, which is as close as I can get it. Uh, she's still a hefty uh, 3,000 pounds there. Sport soft tires, we got the high adjustable sport suspension set at 106 millimeters. We improved the compression expansion by one. We leveled the natural frequency off. We got our fully customizable manual transmission set at 280. Plenty of punch, plenty of long legs. Uh, we got the computer system in it, and we put the weight ballast all the way up and all the way to the rear. Uh, we got our high capacity intercooler, normal air cleaner, semi racing exhaust, racing manifold, sport brakes and pads, uh, semi racing clutch and flywheel, carbon propeller shaft. We did polish the ports and install a racing crankshaft, and we did five stages of weight reduction. So five stages of weight reduction, but because we put that weight ballast in there to, to balance the car out, she's still sitting at 3,000 pounds. But when you drive it, you don't really notice it. It's just, uh, you really don't feel the weight of this car. 
Like I did not feel any weight at all, you know, any weight issue with the car. It didn't shift, it didn't roll. It stayed right to the right to the course. So there you have it guys, the R32 Skyline GTR. What do you guys think of it? Are you guys a Skyline fan or are you a Supra fan or are you a neither fan? What do you guys think of this car? What do you do with it? Overtune it? Do you drift it? Do you rice it up? What do you do with this car? Personally, I like keeping the car somewhat plain. I'll put a little something something on there. Once in a while, I'll get frisky and rice a car out with a bunch of decals and libraries and stuff. But ultimately, all in all, you put a few little things here and there, and I think it looks pretty good. You know, I like I just I think it looks better clean personally. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.